Welcome to my channel. Two days ago, Google released Gemini 1.5 Pro. It has a lot of improvements. The most significant ones to me are it can process audios and videos. You can test it out in the Google AI Studio. But it has token limit. The tokens are consumed very quickly if you have images, audios, or videos. In this video, I will show you another way, the Voice Flow platform to use the Gemini 1.5 Pro completely free, with no token limits. You do not need to write code or set up environment to enjoy and explore the powerful model. If you are running a business, now may be the time to update to enhance the user experience. Let's get started. Shall we? We are now on the Voice Flow chatbot. We can input the prompt with or without an image. Let us first test the prompt without an image. A couple of days ago, we just had a beautiful solar eclipse. Did you have a chance to see it? Let us ask, how does a solar eclipse happen? Gemini gives the answer. It looks pretty good. Next, we will include a picture. If we search surfing, we see these images. Let me pick one and make a copy of the address. In the prompt, we ask, what is this picture? Can you write a story in 500 words? Here we go. The first part is what this picture is about. The second part is the story. It's pretty good. I want to learn x-ray. We can search it. We see this picture, and let us make a copy of the address. We ask, what is the tech used in the picture? Please tell how it was discovered. We pass the prompt with the image to Gemini, and Gemini replies with x-ray technology. It also tells the story of discovery of x-ray. Now I want to upload an image. Let me pick a flower picture. We ask, what is this? Write a poem about it. Gemini replies, This is a lotus flower. Down here is the poem. It's pretty good, this works great. Let me show you the back end of the chatbot. This is a simple chatbot, which everybody can build. If you are not familiar with VoiceFlow, VoiceFlow is a platform that requires no code or low code. We can drag drop blocks to build a very flexible and powerful chatbot. It has a free plan, good for unlimited days. Now let us take a look at the bot. In the first block, we set our Gemini API key. You can get the key from Google AI Studio. If interested, please watch our previous video to see how. This text block lets the user to input the prompt and slash or an image. We then use a custom action block to work with an extension, which lets the user to input the prompt and slash or an image. The user can either enter a URL of an online image, or upload an image file from his computer. We set the path as complete, and turn on the stop on action, so the program will wait the user to input the prompt and image until the user presses the submit button. If you are interested in the extension, please leave a plus sign in the comment. Next, we use a set block, to extract the prompt and image from the user's input. Here we use a condition block, to see if the user has entered an image. If there is no image, we go to the API to call Gemini 1.5 Pro with text only. If there is an image, we go to the API with the image data. The API is very similar to Gemini Pro and ProVision in our previous videos. You can watch those for details. We change the model to Gemini 1.5 Pro latest with the API key. We have the header and the body with the prompt to send to Gemini. Finally. We extract the response and save it to the answer variable. We use a text block to display the prompt and Gemini reply to the user. We have two buttons for the user to click. The continue button lets the user to go to the beginning and continue the conversation to ask the next question. If the user wants to end the conversation, he can click the end button. In this path, if the user input an image, we use the image block to display it. In the set block, we split the data and extract the second part of the image data. In the API block, it is same as the previous one except that the body has an inline data containing the image data. We also capture the response and save it to the answer variable. Finally, the text block display the prompt and answer to the user. That is it. I made this video in a very short time, 
and will make more videos to explore more features of Gemini 1.5 Pro and other models. Please subscribe if you have not done so, in order not to miss the videos. Hope this video helps. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.